Yeah, I'm here on the main academic quad at Miami University in Oxford, where nearly two dozen students protesting the treatment of Palestinians in Gaza by Israel camped out last night. And as I, you can see here behind me, some of those students remain with many coming and going to class. They held a march last night and then camped out. Their main goal is to get Miami to divest from any companies doing business in Israel. Leaders of the Miami chapter of Students for Justice for Palestine also held a meeting with the university president earlier this week, but say they came away unsatisfied. Satisfied. They also say their goal is to remain peaceful and to leave Saturday night and avoid scenes like at Columbia University in New York and elsewhere around the country. Protest leaders say they are trying to stay in compliance with school protest policies and that they have taken down their tents uh, during the day and can stay 48 hours. I asked one of the protest leaders about their goal this weekend. A pressure to the university and, uh, into taking some more urgent action so that there isn't blood on all of our hands. Because I, as a student, um, I pay money into this institution, but it's such a shame that a lot of times there's money that, you know, that comes from all of us, but it's ending up in Palestine in some of the worst ways imaginable. School administrators declined on-camera interviews, but in a statement, said they said they were monitoring the situation and that they have advised the protesters to, to, to stay in compliance of those university rules. Live at Miami University in Oxford, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. You can always find our Local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe, and then you can get all the notifications.